channels. It's called Monday morning and it's time for me to share with you another journal. Uh, it, and first of all, I'm sorry for my voice. We have quite cold weather and I think I'm getting sick. I hope I will be fine, but for now I have what I have. And uh, yeah, let's focus on this journal. And actually it has a short story behind the process of creating. Firstly, I wanted uh, to make a journal related to music and especially Baroque music. But when I looked through my stash, I didn't find uh, much, like many um, useful supplies and I had to change my concept. And then I found this um, digital kit and it's something like uh, music of nature and I think it and I saw that it was exactly what I needed to combine two themes together because you know I love botan making I love making botanical journals so this journal is combination of um, botanical and musical theme together and uh, I will I used uh, the digital kit and I will leave the link to that kit in the info box below the video and this journal goes together with this handmade crochet cord actually this journal is quite uh, it, it has a big size but the spine is quite um, a small I would say and the back side is like that and it says hello I don't know why I added hello to the back side of the journal but I think I thought it was nice. So I personally called this journal music, but you of course can use it for anything you would like. You can use it as a garden journal, as your personal diary or in any other way. So and uh, let's see what it has inside. together with these extra ephemeral pieces like big journaling cards that are made out of postcards uh, some printed out and purchased um, journaling cards it will go together with this journal and with this tab too and I will use it now to show you all pockets and tag spots so here you have the first one and the paper doily and here you have a pocket in the shape of like a letter another pocket here like extra spots for writing and I really like this picture printed out on vellum this is a, a page from a kit from the kit just page with embellishment and here we have this small um, tuck spot another page from the kit a bit of fabric here and there some um, stickers here we have this extra place for writing here we have this paper clip and it's just a hidden spot for writing another side pocket here a pocket, an envelope made out of vellum with this uh, sticker and you can glue something down here and then cover it with this piece and I think it will, be, it will look quite nice just a page with some embellishment and here we have this pocket and a bell band and it's a stenciling in two different Mm, colors of this uh, oxide inks. Here you have this big tuck spot or side spot, I, I, I'm not sure. Double pocket here with this um, dragonfly 
and a bit of lace. Another pocket here. Again, a piece of fabric. Tuck spot here. And here we have this big shaped pocket with this collage. And another pocket here. Two, two spots to write something small and important, but this one you can use to place your picture. Another vellum um, envelope here. A pocket here, and of course you can use it to place your photo. Another place for your photo or picture, or you can just write here something and add another piece of paper to hide your thoughts or dreams maybe. Another pocket here, one more college pocket here, and big pocket here with some decorative element with a bit, uh, with a bit of vellum. Just a uh, college here, another journaling card and a photo spot. Another pocket here, and it's like double-sided pocket, I would say. Stamping stickers. Here we have two spots. Just um, a, a paper doily that you can use as a pocket or a tuck spot. Lacy pocket here with this small collage. And you have this pocket with this butterfly. Just collage here. One more tuck spot here. The third, but this time a small envelope. Oh, and the last pocket here. And a tuck spot here. And a pocket on the back side. So this journal is quite small, but it still has over a hundred pages for writing. So I really hope you enjoy this journal and this video. I will leave all necessary links in the info box below the video. And I hope to see you soon, like in, in a two or three days, with something new this time. And uh, thank you very much for stopping by and uh, stay inspired. Bye-bye.